you, if you just think about it, it makes your it gives you goosebumps. You know, here you're looking at a place where for at least eight because you know they mentioned the Manikarnika in the Vedas. So the Vedas maybe eight thousand BC now with carbon dating and all that. So ten thousand years. Mm -hmm. The cremation ground. So there you find that uh, uh, the f the fire has not died down. You see, there is always uh, 365 days a year, around the clock, around the clock, 24/7, 365 days a year for 10,000 years. And of course, if you acknowledge the fact that the Vedas were uh, handed down by word of mouth for thousands of years before then, so maybe. 20,000 years, maybe 30, maybe 50,000 years, maybe maybe 100,000 years, who knows. But here's a place where the fire has never been extinguished. You know, the presence of uh, the sacredness of death, death as a teacher. That's again the beauty of, of Indian philosophy, to treat death as a, a, as a teacher, you know, Mahakal. And the word for time and death is the same, because time swallows everything. That's why Kali, the goddess of time, is also the goddess of death and her mouth is open, you know, because time swallows everything in, in, into itself. We actually realize that life is, you know, transient and it's a, you know, it's a, for a limited time. It's a great piece of knowledge that guides us like a compass throughout our life, you know, then we won't worry about accumulating, you know, m material possessions beyond our needs, you know, living with exaggerated needs. We won't get into so many of the lawsuits that we get into, you know, fighting over property and perishable things. Um, James Princip, so this spiritual energy and James Princip is not the only one. I know of some people, some Westerners who came here to Banaras and they were changed forever. Their consciousness changed 